Now you might be thinking, what's so different about this video about running a new coax cable? Well, I'm actually going to do it using a drone, or at least I'm going to attempt to. So if you can see behind me here, I have the RG6 cable. I'm going to go ahead and start running it over the wall. Now, this is going to be a little bit too heavy for me to be able to run it directly with the drone. So, planning on using this paracord to go ahead and uh, run the paracord using the drone, and then connect the paracord to the coax, and go ahead and pull my run. So let's get started. Listen. All right, so how I got this set up here is I've got the paracord just tied here, trying to avoid the sensor as best as possible. A little bit of Gorilla Tape for some extra reinforcement, and hopefully this works. I just uh, got off the phone with uh, ATC, so I'm cleared for takeoff for the next half hour. What I'm going to try to do here is actually fly up and over and through and then down over here and then I'll go ahead and tie up the coax itself and start pulling. All right hopefully this goes right it doesn't go horribly wrong. The door is open in case I am screaming my head off and my family has to call the paramedics. So go ahead and make sure you slap that like button right now and go ahead and tap subscribe as well if you haven't already before we get started. to the paracord and run it to the other side of the house. Can't tell if I'm in frame or not. So now I'm going to go ahead and run the rest of this coax cable and use Gorilla Tape to connect it over to the paracord and then pull it across my roof with ease. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take the coax and use some Gorilla Tape 
and stick it here to this paracord and run it over my patio. There we go. Now let's go and pull the paracord on the other side. I need to run to the other side real quick. It's caught on the lip of the patio. And there we have it. Here is the old coax line connected up to here and this goes right into my home office where my cable modem is at. So what I plan on doing is that because I have people that are currently streaming stuff right now inside the house, uh, as well as I've got a family member who is streaming a live game uh, utilizing the live TV and DVR function on the Plex server but I'll go into that on a different video. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that release. All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do then is strip and crimp this, and then I'm going to go ahead and test the line and make sure that uh, everybody's kind of prepped for when I take it down and uh, make the switch over. All right, so on the other end, I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up so I'll be able to take my fluke here and connect this up and test and verify the line before I make the switch over. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got the tester on the other end of the line. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Let's see if it will show up here for you. All right, and we got the check mark, so that means that the line should be good. All right, so I had everybody that is streaming. I told them that the internet might be coming down for a short period of time, and I'd just pause it for like a good 30 seconds or a minute or so. Uh, so that way there might be a buffer where they might not actually notice that it goes down temporarily. Yeah, and I just had to text back relative so that they can figure out what timestamp they were at watching the game and jump back to it here in a bit. All right, now that's tightened. Let's run to the other side of the house. All right, well now I'm on the other side of the house. Let's go ahead and get this cable connected in. And then we will check the signal on the modem after we swap this out. And then finally, I will actually get a ladder and clean up the cable up top and mount it to the house properly. Too bad I can't do that with the drone yet. All right, it is reconnected. Give it a couple minutes and it should resync. 
Uh, we will see here in a little bit. All right, so we can see here the, <laughs> the power is barely any better. 34 and 33 decibels, that just sucks. So I will be calling up Cox again and complaining, saying that I went ahead and ran a whole new coax line to the office, and those are the results. It's really hard to tell if it's recording in the sun. The one thing Sony did wrong on the A6500.